Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today, we are going to look at messages that your nature have for you. As you can see, we have three wild animals from nature visiting with us. We have a wolf, we have a fox, and we have a reindeer. So think about these three animals and see which of them has a message for you about your nature. And I will put the timestamps in the description and you can click on the one that you feel has the message for you and I will see you there. Bye! Hello wolf people! So we are going to now, this is our wolf from Schleich, <laughs> we are going to now see what message the wolf has for you, for your wolf nature. So I'm using the grey Blum set, just a clay set, all purpose. I'm going to lay down a rune that is the ooh, that is the central issue, what is leading up to that, what helps, what doesn't help, and what your next step on the path is going to be. Okay. So our central issue with the wolf uh, talking about your nature, the message uh, for your nature is has to do with we have Avaz. Avaz is the rune of the horse. Um, has to do with movement and also with spirit. Reversed, it has to do with you don't have to run around as much as you think you do. You you can you can be more still than you think you have to be. Oh, I was going to do the thing about the wolf. The people who selected the wolf, it's more about you know a, a group of close knit friends, but you're also seeking and just constantly in search of nourishment and anyway that was sort of I, I forgot that bit but anyway the message that the wolf has for you is that number one your central issue is you don't have to run around as much as you think you do number two it's a good idea to have inwardly a very spiritual um, journey is constantly going around so rove inwardly as well as you are roving outwardly searching for nourishment what leads up to this is we have Gabo. Gabo is the rune of the gift. It has to do with gift exchange. It's always an exchange, this gift. Um, also, you know, decisions, agreements, one-on-one -on -one relationships. So it's sort of, you know, I'm, just, I'm actually going to throw down another one just because I'm, I, I felt the hesitation. I felt it and the wolf wants me to lay down a couple more things. Okay. So let's build it back a little bit. Okay. So there was a period of time, we have Issa, the Rune of Ice, where you were in a state of standstill, you felt like you were in a state of, of frozenness. Um, from there, you sort of made an, a decision um, to change things, to more to be more seeking of, of to actively seek your nourishment in, in the world. Um, which will lead you to the realization that right now you're like, First of all, do I have to run around as much as I think I have to? No, you don't, and that's the answer here. Um, but secondly, that you want to make your life more rich and more enriching and more inwardly nourishing by turning your spirit's journey inward. Make sure that's going on. So at this point where you made this decision, um, what helped was that you actually have a good sense of your own worth. We have Fehu. Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth. has to do with cattle, your, the wealth that you tend. And this is what actually helped you with this decision. When you made this decision, it's like, you know, I do, I am worthy of this. What didn't help is it felt like there was going to be a lot involved. It felt like it was just going to be one thing after another, and it's just going to be constantly dealing with more. Uh, Kaunas, the rune of fire, starts something small that grows into a blaze. If that started to be the case, you always reminded yourself, no, you know what, I'm worth it. I'm worth this. This is worth. This is a worthy pursuit, and you move forward into. Okay, so I don't have to run around outwardly as much as I thought I did. I do have to make sure that my inner spiritual journey is going on. Um, what helps with that is you are constantly seeing the fruits of your labor of that, which is great. Um, this is Zira, it's the run of the harvest. It also has to do with time, but mostly I'm going to see this as fruits of your labor um, showing up very clearly, um, that, that you're actually seeing not only the benefits of an, in, of an inner spiritual journey, but also the benefits of not having to run around as much. Um, what doesn't help, oh, and the reason that this is, is good is that it actually keeps you focused on what you need. It sort of narrows your field of vision, uh, which is the opposite of this, which you were worried about. It actually keeps your focus 
um, honed. If you're only focusing on, you know, I just have to make sure that I've, I'm taking care of my needs, now these root of need, um, as long as I'm making sure that I'm, I've got that taken care of, everything else will fall into place, and it does. So you're making sure of that, and you are noticing, look at all this benefit that you're getting from this. What doesn't help is extended from this, where you're worried about things are going to get out of hand. You're still worried that you're going to hit a moment of chaos. This is Hagalaz, the hailstorm rune. That you're going to hit a moment of uncontrolled, uncontrollable, and it's going to throw you off. Um, at the same time, really what you're worried about beyond that is something that's going to trigger you emotionally. We have Lagos, Lagos reversed. Lagos is the rune of the lake. It has to do with water, uh, intuition, heart, all those emotional things. Um, reversed on the lowest line. So you're worried that basically if this can, if, if something gets out of hand and something unexpected and uncontrolled happens, it's going to upset your equilibrium and it's going to throw you off. If that starts to happen, bring yourself back to this focus. As long as you're making sure that you're getting the big rocks in the jar, then all the sand isn't going to matter. So <laughs> to, to paraphrase a well-known parable. So yeah, focus on focus on what you need and focus on the fruits of your labor that are coming up. And also manage your time. The year is a run about time. And you will be um, supported in that you don't have to run around outwardly as much, but also that, you know, you're, so you're conserving your energy by not running around outwardly as much, but having a vast landscape in which you run inwardly with spirit. So what this leads to is we have Ansu's, and Ansu's is the run of communication and manifestation. It looks like you are going to be able to not only express yourself very, very well, um, the, your message from the wolf, is that all this will lead to an ability to A, express yourself very, very well, but also B, to manifest around you what you need, um, what you need to continue to have the fruits of your labor and to conserve your energy, that you don't have to run around as much as you worried that you had to. And that is your message from your nature, from your wolf nature. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, fox people. So this is going to be your message from your fox nature. Um, the thing about the fox people is you're a lot more independent than the wolf or the reindeer. You can pretty much function on your own without, with very little grief. Um, the little fox from Schleich. And uh, but you're, you're very inquisitive and you're very curious. And let's see what message the fox has for you. What does the fox say? <laughs> so I'm laying down what the central issue is of this message. I'm also laying down what led up to it, what helps, what doesn't help, and what your next step on the path is going to be. And we will go from there. Okay, interesting. So our central issue here is we have Tivas. Tivas is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God. And what this is saying is you have a lot of energy and you have a lot of you have a lot of drive to just get up and go and just like drive forward, 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 on and on and on. Not necessarily into battle, but even just in tending your duties and responsibilities. Tear was all about that. He was the only one who would tend the Fenris wolf, by the way, Fenrir. Um, but uh, not to the, hopefully not to the extent where you're going to lose a hand. <laughs> so anyway, your, your central issue is you have a lot of energy. Your central message from Fox is you've got this drive. You've got this energy, this drive. What led up to this is there was a lot of chaos before and around you in general. You just feel... Not only chaos, but also connecting to connection to uh, natural forces, natural energies. This is Hagalaz, it's the rune of the hailstorm. And what Fox is saying is um, you sort of move through the move through the storm and you can sort of merge with the storm. You can be like one with it, but you want to actually get things done. So you have a lot of energy that you want to direct. Now what helps with this is listening to your inner voice. We have Ansu's. Ansu's is the rune of communication and manifestation. It is reversed and it's on the upper line. Paying very close attention and being deeply in connection to your inner voice and your inner communication and even just being silent is going to help you a lot in terms of knowing what to do next with your uh, Tiva's energy. Um, the reason this is the case is that it's coming from a place where you really do feel your worth. We have Fehu, the rune of wealth and worth. And this, 
the, the place where, if you can access the place where you feel your worth, this will flow down into as your inner voice to inform you where to direct your rampant energy. What doesn't help is you're worried about, I mean, you are an independent person. You're very, very, your nature is by nature independent. You very much stand up on your own. But this can worry you sometimes in that you may not feel that you have the support that you that you might sometimes need and below that you may feel this makes you weaker than you want to be so we have algies it's the rune of the elk it's uh, support and protection and we have urus the rune of the uh, wild ox and that's also reversed and that's uh, strength and strength and health both of these reversed both of these on the lower line really speak about worries about those things so you worry you might not have the support that you need and you're worried that you might not be as strong without the support that you think you might need but if that starts to drag you down remember you are very very aware of your worth you know what you're worth and you know that you're worth it and this will actually inform the inner voice that you're going to be following um, that helps you direct your energy and your drive so our next step on the path is uh, Avaz. Avaz is the horse rune. It has to do with um, spirit, but also with movement. It is reversed. So what it's saying is, A, you don't have to run around as much as you think you do. And B, make sure that you are running around inwardly, um, that you're following spirit inwardly. And this goes with listening to your inner voice. So this is actually your next step on the path is recognizing this, that even though you have a little boundless energy, it feels like you might want to conserve that outwardly and do a lot of that running around inwardly. And what helps with that is embrace the journey. We have uh, Rido, uh, the riding rune, and that's your journey rune, that's your life journey. And sort of just to follow this life journey where you know your worth, you're listening to your inner voice and let this inform your journey and this will carry you um, through this time where you're not moving around as much outwardly, but you are galloping inwardly. And what doesn't help is you are worried about time. This is Yira. It's the year. It literally means year. It's the rune of the harvest. It's the rune of time. You're worried about how much time has passed already and how much time there may be left. So try not to worry about that because you are on the journey and the journey is time. The journey is your time. So you are using the time that you have. I mean, nobody, everybody's life is too short, basically. <laughs> so you are always gonna feel that little tug of, I'm, I'm worried that you're not gonna have enough, you are gonna worry that you don't have enough time to do blah, 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 all the things that you wanted to do. Everybody has that, don't worry about that. I mean, you are, because it's there. Bring yourself back up to embracing your journey. This is yours specifically. Nobody else can walk this path or live this life but you. So let this carry you also over, in for, let this also help you with not running around as much and also not, uh, and also turning your, your main journeying inward in terms of exploring your inner landscape and spending a lot of your galloping there so you can serve your rampant energy. And what this will lead to is really X marks the spot. We have Gabo, this is the rune of the gift. It's always an exchange in the runes. So you're, 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 getting, you're getting as much as you're giving, which is great. And this actually leads to what you decided way back here when you were sort of drifting in and out of the state of chaos, you sort of decided that you'd go for goals instead of just wafting in and out of um, chaos. And you have at least hit one of them at this point. You're actually, you hit a real milestone at this point. So after doing this, you're gonna know it's like a big present for you <laughs> that you actually achieved something that you went for at the beginning of this. This doesn't mean this is the end of things, you just can continue using these tools that you developed during this time. But it's always good. I don't think you're going to go back to where you're just going to be wafting in and out of chaos. That's always an option if you are comfortable with it. However, X marks the spot. We have a reaching of a, of a goal at this point that, that you're getting everything that you put into it, which is great. And that is your message from your fox nature. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye! Hello, reindeer nature people. We have a lovely reindeer also from Schleich. And reindeer is going to give you a message from your nature. So reindeer nature is going to be more uh, group oriented. They're going to be more family oriented. They're going to be more sort of being among other people. But you're going to be a lot more chill than 
in general, I mean, other, you know, other than running from things that want to eat you, you're generally going to be more relaxed as far as what you need to eat is around you. You just have to dig it up or eat it off the ground. It's not going to be as um, intense as it is for the wolf people who are constantly, constantly seeking. I mean, you guys are constantly roving. The nation of reindeer is wherever the reindeer nation is. So it's very exciting. I love reindeer. I love all of them, actually. Fox, wolf, reindeer. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to draw... Uh, some runes to start with. Um, central issue, what led up to it, what's going to help, what isn't going to help, and what your what your next step on the path is going to be. Okay, we've seen a couple of these runes already today. So, message from your reindeer nature. We have Gabo. Gabo's the rune of the gift. And in the runes, a gift is always an exchange. So it has to do also with one-on-one -on -one relationships, and it also has to do with um, uh, like decisions, agreements, goals. So you, you've at the, you're at this point where, A, you've got a lot of connections one-on-one. -on -one. You're also seeking the exchange, basically, in life, you know, you're to, to get what you give kind of thing. What led up to this is we have had, so this is Pertho reversed. Pertho is the run of the lot box. It's, you know, where you cast lots to see what your luck is. It's reversed and it's on the path line. So it looks like two things I'm going to read it as. One, you found out something about yourself that maybe wasn't, it was a surprise. You realized it was something that was always there and maybe it wasn't as pleasant as you would have liked it to be. And two, you have experienced something that was an unpleasant surprise that you thought you know, you didn't realize was there, but was always there. And this has sort of led you to this point where you want to make some decisions and agreements, especially with those close to you, sort of to make sure that doesn't happen again. Now, what helps here is we have Vunyo reversed. Now, Vunyo is the rune of joy. Reversed on the upper line, I'm going to read this a couple ways as well. Um, first of all, whatever this was sort of made you unhappy. Like, it, it showed you your discontent. And this is a drive. This is, a, you know, if you are not feeling happy, you are driven to fix that. You're driven to go, okay, well, you know, I don't want to be not happy because nobody wants to be not happy. And this is sort of pushing you forward to make these decisions and agreements to, to fix things. The other thing I'm going to read this is, is what will help you is seek joy within. Reverse generally will mean inner. And in this case, seeking joy within, see, see what, what really does, like really investigate what makes you happy, what gives you joy. And that will help you to make the agreements and decisions that you're gonna move forward with. The, what, what's behind that is you're connecting with spirit. We have Avaz. Avaz is the rune of the horse. The horse is movement and also spirit. And I've just noticed this leaf has a little thread that's sticking off of it. <laughs> oh no, I've destroyed the illusion. They're not real leaves. No, they're cloth and plastic, but they're, they're neat and pretty. So anyway, <laughs> back to the runes. So when you connect with your inner joy, what you're actually doing is opening up to the voice of your, inner, of your spirit. This is not even inner, it's basically open. It's, it's, the, it's your spirit that is speaking through speaking through not only your unhappiness, but also showing you what, how you can find joy inwardly. And I mean, Avaz is also to do with movement, but I'm, I'm the, on the upper line here, especially with this, I'm reading this as you're connecting with spirit. Spirit tells you about what you need to be happy, and this will help you make the agreements and decisions that you are thinking about now. What doesn't help is a couple things. Uh, blank rune and Rytho. Rytho's the journey rune. You're worried about the journey that you're on. Um, you're worried that it's sort of, you can't get around it and that you're gonna keep hitting things that are unexpected like this was and you won't, you're not gonna expect them. They're out of the blue, even though they're things that were already there. And this is going to disrupt you like this did. But you are actually actively working towards making that, I mean, everybody's gonna have surprises in their lives. Everybody's gonna get disrupted. It's gonna, it's not something you can really get away from, but you can make plans and you can, fix your focus so that it's on the right things that so that you'll be able to you know look where you want to go <laughs> and where you're going to look where you want to go is what brings you joy and how you're going to find what brings you joy is you're going to connect with spirit 
So that's how you're going to go forward to the point where you hit Tiva's reverse. Tiva's is Tears Rune. Uh, Tear is the warrior god. You know, pick up and go, and also tending your duties. Reversed, it has to do with laying down your sword. Just lay it down. You don't need to fight. As well, tend your inner duties. Make sure that you are tending your inner duties, and you will do better than you would have otherwise. Hmm, that's actually I'm laying down a couple more, as you can see. Okay, interesting. What helps you at this point is. So you're going to get a lot of energy from focusing on this, uh, connecting with spirit, letting it inform you of what, you, what your joy is inwardly. This is actually going to connect you with your source energy. This is Sovilo, it's the sun rune, and that's actually going to give you the energy that you need, that you can, you feel that you can lay down your sword. You don't have to fight. You can just, you can be okay. You can just like chill <laughs> and direct your, direct your attention to your inner duties, which is what you have been doing. What doesn't help is you're worried about but if I put my sword down, how will I fight? Well, you don't have to fight, but we have Urus, the wild ox, the aurochs in the lower line. This isn't helping you. You're, very, you're feeling very stubborn. You're feeling very um, worried about your strength, your health. If that starts to drag you down, and this all just has to do with, you know, you had this plan, you had this plan that you were riding forward on and it didn't work out for you because this happened and you have to re take restock, like you have to, you have to take stock and recalibrate what you're doing. And this leads to, you want to dig in, you want to sort of maintain the old plan. That's not going to help you. You are making new decisions. You are making new agreements with yourself. So at this point, you know, lay your sword down, keep that energy flow happening that was happening up here where you connected with spirit, let it inform you about your joy, and this will feed you energetically and to the point where you won't feel like you have to fight anymore. You won't need to. And what this leads to ultimately is we have Ansu's. Ansu's is the rune of communication and manifestation. It shows, you know, this was actually the last rune I think for the wolf as well, in a different context. It, it will lead you to a point where you will feel more free to express yourself in life as well as to bring into your life what you want around you that will be reflective of your inner joy. So that is your message from your reindeer nature. I hope you have a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye!